Well, my marriage always sucked the life out of me. Well, maybe, <laughs> but it doesn't have to. It really doesn't have to. Marriage is supposed to be this life-giving relationship. It's supposed to fill our cup of confidence and give us a boldness to go about doing what we're doing with our life together and as individuals. That's what marriage is supposed to do, but, but marriage can become something that's so depleting. It's supposed to fill my cup of confidence, but it ends up destroying my cup altogether. <laughs> marriage is supposed to be this vehicle that moves me. I'm, it's this it's vehicle that I'm in and it, it helps me get where I'm going in life. But sometimes it might seem like marriage, if it's a vehicle, the engine's blown. And you feel like everywhere you're going in life, you're pushing the car of your marriage. Instead of, instead of being driven to your life, you feel like you're pushing this big car down the road every day. Marriage, instead of being life-giving, can feel like it's just sucking the life out of you. It doesn't have to be that way. You can get a new engine and it doesn't have to require a new spouse. You see, we have problems in several areas of our lives. If our car breaks down, we're like, where's the mechanic? We just, we take the car to the mechanic and it's not a big deal. It, it takes some money, but it's worth it because I need this car to get me where I'm going. And it's not embarrassing to take your car to get fixed. You don't wear a bag over your head when you go to the mechanic and say, I'm kind of ashamed. Here's my keys. My car is broken down. Cars break down. We fix them. Our bodies have problems and we go to the doctor and say, help me with this. But we have these categories of our life, these personal problems like marriage, where we feel like getting help is somehow off limits. And the danger of those problems is not that they happen, it's that we don't let ourselves get help with those problems. We hide the problem of marriage. Marriage can get much better without too much work. This is why we specifically do the purpose mastermind with couples that are struggling with marriage. We tell them up front, we're not going to talk about your marriage because usually, and this is, this is something really important I want to say to you. Usually a marriage problem is just revealing or exposing problems that we have as individuals. And the mistake we make is, oh, this is a marriage problem. And so then we try to fix something that's not really the problem. It's just like the, the fruit, it's not the root. So when we talk to couples about their marriage, our first rule is we're not going to talk about your marriage. We're going to go through these five, we're going to go through these five conversations, helping you to find your purpose and be the kind of person that can live out your purpose. And what you find is you become the person you want to be and the change that happens in you personally causes the change you want to have in your marriage. So is marriage always going to suck the life out of you? If you let it, it will. But if you go to a mechanic, you can get the engine fired up again. <laughs>